Um, so we're going to go right back into uh, boots on the ground implementations. The MLS is working with rentals, which you've all seen a lot of companies have helped us with rental data to expand the data dictionary. Um, and MLS is being able to use that with their technology vendors to really improve the marketplace for brokers. So excited to hear about implementations out in the wild. Come on up. Yeah. Let's go wait off stage until he's done with his part. All right, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Really looking forward to the session today. Um, the first thing that I wanted to do is just really reemphasize, we all know that the rentals are very important. They're an increasingly huge component of the housing landscape in the United States here. Case in point, even just yesterday, there was an article that came out on the Wall Street Journal that basically said that uh, renting is about 52% less expensive than uh, purchasing a home. So it's just something that we really need to take into account. And so we want to talk about rentals a little bit more and make sure that we're giving attention to rentals that they need um, as an industry. And I know that for a small majority of you here today, rentals are probably not your favorite topic to talk about. But I'm hoping to really change that in the next 20 minutes with myself and my colleague Tom Morgan from Bright MLS, who's going to be joining up in a second. But basically, today, we're going to be talking about how Rentspree and Bright MLS have been working together for, um, I would say, almost like the past four years or so on improving the way that we can really accommodate rentals within the, in the MLS, driving forward with data, driving forward with implementations and improvements on how we're handling these things. It's been very successful. And we're here to share some of those learnings with you today on how that's gone. And um, ultimately, also, I want to recognize all of you made a choice to be here today. We had the T360 event going on in Texas. And I know that when you chose to be here, it wasn't because there's ocean views or anything like that here. It wasn't because it's currently raining in Fort Worth, Texas. <laughs> It was because you're really invested in rolling up your sleeves, digging into the data, and improving our industry. So I appreciate that and looking forward to the session today. Yeah. All right. So for those of you obviously are familiar with Bright MLS, but just want to share just kind of high level here. So Bright MLS covers six states, uh, mid-Atlantic region. They provide uh, services for over 100,000 subscribers and um, basically really just have been driving forward innovation. And it's something that they've been working on for a number of years uh, together with Rensbury. And like I said, going to share some of those insights and information with you all today. And so that starts with the rental data dictionary and how we're looking at rental data. And these, some of these things are also ongoing. So shout out to the rental uh, work group. Really encourage anyone who's interested in rentals to stop by and make sure that you're be, being involved there. And what we can talk about first and foremost, we've seen some of these kinds of fields that are really important for rentals. So these are examples of some fields in the rental world that aren't historically taken into account when we look at other listing data, like for, for sale properties or other property types. And these are really essential to be taking into account, because without some of these fields and without standardizing some of these, really it's hindering the value that the MLS can provide when it comes to rentals. So these are just small examples of some of the fields that are under discussion, some of the fields that are necessary in order to have MLSs effectively accommodate rental activity. So there's a couple here, like rental price, what's included, right? What's included is a little bit unique because this isn't something that you see come into play with the for sale transaction. Also dealing with pets. Right, completely new, and there's kind of a whole lot to talk about there. But these are just some of the examples that we're really working to drive forward on how we can improve the way that we handle rentals in the MLS. And so with what I've mentioned and what we're moving forward with and making sure that we're thinking about the data dictionary, we want to make sure that we're not only capturing the data that's essential for for sale properties, but taking a really close look at what is the data that's necessary to capture for rental properties so that this can actually work for agents, and it can work for consumers by collecting that data. So these are really important conversations to have, that we're actually getting the data that's necessary to handle rental listings. This makes things easier, streamlines everything. And for our case, it made the integration and implementation so much easier and smoother when it comes to working with Bright MLS. And ultimately, what we're driving toward here, of course, is to deliver more value 
to agents, deliver more value to consumers, and helping them handle rentals easier. And obviously, this unlocks more revenue opportunities for agents when they work with rentals, but it helps them accommodate consumers that, like I mentioned at the beginning, are increasingly needing to rely and work with rentals as a form of housing that's undeniable for them, whether it's for affordability reasons or lifestyle choices that they're making. So now we can talk a little bit about the Rents Free Bright MLS integration. And like I mentioned, there's an integration component that was really fast-tracked with the standardization of data. And then on top of that, it's handling the data collection and streamlining that process when it comes to rentals. So we'll talk a little bit about some of the things that Bright MLS has been doing for years that have been extremely helpful. And one of the things that Bright MLS has had in place is something called Listing Assistant. And so this is pulling in historical data in a very user-friendly way that allows a huge streamlining of the listing input process. And as you can see, we have some data here referencing um, just the magnitude of how important that listing input process is, how much time is being sent, spent on this process. And so with what they're able to do, they're actually able to pre-populate 36 to 82% of all required fields for these listings by leveraging the listing assistant tool. So this is something that it has a tangible benefit for subscribers, where we saw a decrease in the listing input time by about 29%. So this is really important and just some of the innovation that's just making it easier to handle uh, rental listings. And so this is an another example and a screenshot here to show um, kind of how we're able to work with them and make sure that the listing input process is as easy as it can be in terms of just getting recommendations and then of course being able to do a comparison. So comparing what are the changes in the listing data over time so you can easily identify those and move forward with this process with speed and accuracy. And then the last thing that we'll kind of talk about here is then just making sure that we're really taking a look, and this is where the RESO standards come into play, but making sure that we're looking at what are those required fields that are coming in for rentals. So this is something that we've talked about with Bright quite a bit and making sure that we're really being very specific and deliberate about what are those required fields for rentals. And on one hand, it's making sure that we're eliminating non-relevant fields that aren't necessary for rentals. And then also, like I mentioned at the beginning, making sure that we're expanding and collecting enough data that's needed some of those unique things, like the pets, everything like that. And so we're able to do this, and this kind of goes hand in hand with the actual integration that we have in place as well. So through working with these things together, we've been able to be really successful with Bright MLS. And uh, Tom's gonna come up here and kind of talk a little bit about what it's been like from their perspective and how these things kind of come into play when the rubber meets the road. But um, just wanna give a shout out also to some of the other um, MLSs that we've worked with over the years. It's also been CRMLS. Um, Real MLS beaches, many others out there that have really worked closely with us in order to handle um, rentals in a much, much better way. But um, with that being said, um, we'll go over and turn it over to Tom, who's going to share a little bit on the Bright MLS uh, side. Perfect. Thank you, Michael. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm Tom Morgan. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Bright MLS. And I'm really here to talk about the benefits side of this partnership. We're very excited about the partnership, but I also need to acknowledge that um, I scored, we scored um, that uh, very coveted pre-lunch spot um, in, in our speaking lineup today. So I'm gonna be cognizant of uh, my words and your appetites and, and try to get you to the lunch line uh, as quickly as possible. I'll do my part there. So um, we're excited at, um, the prospects of the partnership and what we've seen in the partnership for two primary reasons. One is the impact to overall rental listing volumes within our platform, and two is the utility that our subscribers have been able to drive from using Rentalspree. So if we look at uh, rental listings as a percentage of overall residential listing volume, we've seen a nice one, two, three percent year-over-year year increase, so a really healthy indicator um, of the partnership. When we look at attach, this is the effect of listings being um, transformed into transactions within Rentsfree. Again, we're seeing a nice 10% year-over-year growth between uh, Q3 2022 uh, and today, so we're seeing a really nice upper right uh, trajectory there. So another great indicator of 
the health we're seeing in the partnership. When we look at just organic subscribership, we're also seeing great signs there. We're seeing double-digit year-over-year growth in subscribership into the application, into Rentspree. And this is largely viral, not a lot of campaign action going on there. This is really uh, agents talking to agents um, about the utility that they're driving from the partnership that we have with Rentspree. And then when you look at just the measure of the uh, listings, rental listings that we've processed over time as part of this partnership, we're at about 75,000 uh, rental listings. So a significant volume of listings that have gone through uh, the platform into Rentspree and have been converted within Rentspree. But we're really excited about what our subscribers are actually doing once they're in Rentspree. So we're also seeing great benefits there. So we're seeing renters uh, being screened as part of the agent's overall workflow in significant numbers. So 182,000 renters being screened within the application. So not only are we provisioning agents for the application through the partnership, but they're actually using the functionality as part of their normal business. So in summary, um, if we want to look back at this, and, and Michael and I have talked about really what were the attributes that, that drove the success of this partnership. I think it started with selection of a partner that matched the Bright business model. And if you're familiar with Bright, agents do a lot of rental volumes into the platform on their own. And so there's a lot of um, organic traffic and a lot of organic uh, rental listings being generated as part of the platform. And so what we looked for in a partner and what we found in Rentspree is an adjunct and an amplifier of that process. And so uh, that was the first part of it. The second part, um, Michael went through some of the attributes of the, the integration. We built a workflow that allowed our agents to easily create listings and also discover that there was the Rentspree application available to them. And then lastly, once the agents landed within Rentspree, they had a feature set that helped them run their business. So those three things led to an overall successful partnership. And we're thankful for that partnership today. Thank you.